So today I want to have some fun with the uh, automation, the inbuilt automation that we have on uh, Jira, especially on cloud, because uh, on cloud you can use uh, automation for free. Of course, there is a limit. It depends on your uh, your pricing model, but uh, you can use it for free. I think that is good to know. And, and in case you're using the free version, there is a limit. I think the limit, uh, I mean, you can check uh, by going to your uh, usage, uh, usage of the uh, tool uh, or automation for Jira. But uh, today I want to have some uh, some some fun. I just want to you know play with it. So let us say if you if you create a new issue. So for example, you create a new bug. So you can of course uh, this is a new bug and uh, you want to do something automatically. So let us say when you create a new bug, you can of course fill up your fields, your description, your priority, and um, maybe you want to have some labels. And the thing that I want to focus on is a uh, few fields like, uh, it is of course my own custom field, like designer, which is of course uh, um, a field of type uh, user picker. And uh, I can select uh, my designers and uh, maybe you have a cascading select select list. So let us select one, uh, let us select the op uh, few options here from this field called operational categorization. And maybe you have a start date or some date field. So I want to basically see and do something based on these custom fields as well. And to be honest, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but uh, I want to, of course, play with it. I want to see what automation can do for me. And of course, uh, for doing it, um, for, for doing some automation, I want to do it for create issue event. Now, for uh, reaching automation, I mean, to, 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 to start using uh, automation, you can do few things. And uh, basically, when you have to create an automation uh, rule, you uh, had an option, I believe, uh, earlier, it is still there, called automation, but uh, I, I talked about this uh, in one of my previous uh, video, where if you have to create uh, an automation, uh, there used to be something called as uh, uh, automation rules, uh, and I think it was renamed. So now you have uh, only the automation, not the legacy, legacy automation. So the, so the point that I'm trying to make is that you can just click on the automation here and then you can create a rule uh, within of course your project uh, settings or you can always go to let us say if you type in here uh, let me try to reach automation so if you go to I believe uh, issues I'm trying to reach the automation rules so where is it? Not here. I prefer using the <laughs> shortcut. So yeah, it is under, under, under system, not really issues. So when you go to the automation rules, you can then create your own rule. Like if you click on the button here, and you can always select uh, the. I mean, when you define your rule, you can uh, you, you can obviously select the project. But let us do it from the project. The the same. Uh, project settings so let us click on project settings and uh, let us click on the automation so in case you're trying to use automation just wanted to show you how it works how you can reach how you can start using uh, these automation rules so let us click on this automation and uh, what i want to do now is uh, i want to create a new rule that will do something when the issue is uh, created now you have, the good thing is that you have some built-in automation, uh, I mean, it's like a template, like a library, where you have uh, things that you can do. I mean, these like these are like ready-made rules that you can start using immediately. But I want to create my own rule. So if I click on uh, rules, so it, it says here, no rule set up on this project. And um, let us create a new rule. Now when you create a new rule, you can define so there are a few things that you need to do in the beginning you need to select the trigger so when you want this rule to um, start doing something so in our case if you remember we'll, we'll, we'll probably spend a bit more time uh, on other 
type of rules but not right now today i want to do something very simple and let us get started so if you click on issue created you have of course this it's it is of course an event like when the issue is created maybe you want to do something now before you can do something uh, you basically have the option here to add an action but i don't really want this rule to execute every time every time a new issue is uh, added i want to have some uh, maybe conditions and those conditions can be based on uh, remember those fields that we filled in um, maybe uh, you want to add a condition based on issue type it could be any any ki any kind of uh, um uh, i mean I, i mean you can do any kind of conditioning i mean you can add any kind of condition uh, but for this example uh, let us uh, let us select something very simple like w maybe when you have uh, a priority which is maybe let us add a priority if the priority is a uh, priority you can basically add a jql layer and you can validate your uh, your uh, jql what i want to do is i want to of course uh, take a look at my issue where i want to see whether i i mean do i have any issues uh, matching this uh, this particular jql so let us do it for highest not really high so highest validate and we do have one issue so let us save this so whenever the issue is when, whenever the issue priority is highest i want to do something very simple and that uh, could be uh, and of course you need to add a new action let us say you want to add uh, maybe a comment i'm i'm using comment here because i want to show you few things now when you add a comment you can do something like uh, this is my my comment of course yeah this will work and uh, whenever you create a new issue if the priority is highest it will add a comment but you can use uh, these uh, um fields i mean you can basically populate the comment with some fields the field values for example uh, if you do something like this issue dot fields it will uh, gives it will give you access to all the issues field but you can also take a look at uh, uh something called as uh, smart fields smart values so if you go to the link here that says what are smart values you can read about uh, um how to get uh, let us say the issue key or maybe the issue summary so of course for using uh, smart values you need to use these two um curly braces i think these are curly, curly braces i always get con confused with the braces and uh, parentheses but yeah i know these are curly braces so you need to use these uh, curly braces and uh, it will basically help you in uh, fetching the value of your fields now in our case let us uh, do let, let us let us do this, let, let us start using this so maybe i want to do something like this issue dot fields and let us see what we get and uh, let us save it and uh, we have to name it like add a comment turn it on so we have a new comment added now if you look at the rules uh, i mean the rule details you can uh, see here that uh, this particular uh, rule since we added this rule from within this project the scope is android but whenever you add a rule outside your project you always have the limit you you always have the option to limit it to a specific not only project but maybe a specific issue type or any any jql basically so let us see how it works and uh, of course this rule will uh, work it should only work when you have priority equal to highest so let me add something very quickly i don't have time to write <laughs> nice summary so i will directly select my priority as highest and uh, maybe i want to fill few things like uh, description maybe i will fill my label maybe you know just few things i want to see what we get in the issue fields this is my environment maybe it is uh, linux and uh, maybe i i can at attach a file maybe not assign it to me designer yeah let us select few users here let me just select uh, myself and i will also fill in uh, the operational categorization with categorization with uh, z 
and a baseline start date. So let us create this issue and let us see if this works. If this particular uh, high priority, highest priority issue actually added a comment. So, okay, so we, we have something interesting. So it says this is my comment. And if I maybe refresh it one more time, and there is no point, but the fields are, I mean, I don't see any fields. So I just see two, two curly braces. And if I go back to my rule, let us see, did I do anything wrong here? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So let us do something like this. So maybe what I'll do, I'll uh, take a look at my field which is uh, um, baseline start date let us use uh, let us try to fetch the value so let us let me first try designers so let me try designers first can I fetch my field values like this designers okay and uh, maybe maybe I can use uh, something like uh, what is the name of the other field okay operational categorization basically I'm trying to understand how to fetch the custom field value so if I maybe search uh, okay so you can access the value in a custom field using custom fields name so issue dot team leader field names are case insensitive and translated using your rule actors language setting okay if your instance is highly customized, you will need to investigate the REST API to find the right smart value. Okay, so let us first try this. Let us first try the method which is described here on the on, the, on this particular page. So I'll probably refer to my field like this and uh, I will see if I can uh, fetch the field values. So let me try to use baseline start date and uh, let us save it and publish the changes let us add one more issue to see how it works whether we are able to fetch the values so let me fetch i don't need to fill in the other fields i just need to focus on these uh, fields now that i'm trying to uh, trying to print in the comment so this is my cascading select list maybe a date Okay, create. Oh, I forgot the priority. It should have been highest. So I, I don't think uh, we'll have a comment, which is a good thing. We are able to validate that the condition is working. So we'll, we'll add one more uh, issue. Uh, come on, create. So highest should be the priority. designer let me select couple of designers maybe two two designers okay operational categorization and a start date great so we have a new issue and uh, hopefully we'll have a comment with something and i can see straight away we do have something okay so we are able to fetch the uh, i think it is the comma separated uh, um, account ID and for date we do have a date but for the but for the um, cascading se select list we have a JSON and it is fine because when you are fetching the JSON you have of course the parent and the child and I believe there is a way to fetch the values the individual values so if you do something like this I believe dot value and uh, if you do child dot value it should work I hope because when I look at the JSON here if you look at the JSON you have the value which is uh, the parent and to access the child you can uh, use uh, child and dot value again which is a hard drive so let us see let us see how it works so we have a new rule up i mean we have a we have a rule which is updated now with 
the changes and let us create one more issue to validate so i will select here highest priority and designer okay one maybe one more and my cascading select list and my date so we have now a new issue and let us validate whether our understanding of uh, json and how to fetch the value is correct or not so if i scroll down i can see my account ids i can see the parent value and uh, child value and of course the date so of course uh, in this video we didn't really do something like some i mean we didn't really do a great amazing automation but i wanted to show you these simple things and how you can uh, have fun with uh, automation for jira automation for jira of course will uh, i mean if if you want to do automation uh using automation for jira it is very simple all you have to use all you have to do is use the interface but uh, at the same time although it is simple to use you can still do a lot of uh, wonderful things without writing any piece of code but it is always good to know few things like uh, smart values and if you know how jira rest api works and if you know how um i i mean if you have if you if you have the option to fetch the issue details or do something with the rest api uh do give it a try because you learn a lot you learn a lot about uh, how to interact with jira programmatically on cloud of course we are not really talking about server on server if you have to do some automation using uh, of course script na you always have the option to use uh, the jira java api but on so on cloud version whether you are using automation for jira or you are using uh, script na for jira on cloud or you are just using your own custom scripts um you can do a lot of things and having a some understanding of rest api will always uh, make your life a lot easier and in case you want to learn the rest api and doing things on jira server do take a look at my videos they are on my channel or you can go to my website ravisaga.in and you can go to the video section you will find uh, videos just focused on rest api so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video today and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much